Welcome everybody. I'm Gold Leader. I'm here with Patronus for Star Wars. We're back. We took a break. We kind of needed one. So we love you guys. We did still kind of need it. <laughs> we were also kind of really busy over the holidays. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. But Catching yeah, up on lots of honestly, stuff. Honestly, I think taking a break once or twice a year, um, like just from streaming in general when you're doing it three days a mm -hmm. week, sometimes more, is probably pretty needed just to refresh the batteries. Correct. All right. So we will get going here. The last time uh, on this bat channel, we actually did a two-man holocron draft. That's kind of what we call our draft in general for this game. And it's essentially kind of like with Magic the Gathering where it's a cube or an assembled pool of cards from the we yeah. actually went through a whole bunch of not only just wizards of the coast sets but some of the idc sets as well yeah it's a it's a limited pool and instead of drafting with booster packs because they're too expensive to actually realistically open at this point um you just uh have a fixed pool of cars and you draft from there and we did like a almost kind of like a two-player draft where you could watch the video just go to yep. um go to youtube.com slash homebase games um, it's the the latest video I think we actually uploaded. Um, or at least for Star Wars TV. It's definitely one of our most recent videos. So you can uh, go, um, just click on the Star Wars TCG playlist. If you like it, please consider giving us a like and subscribe. It really helps um, for all this time that we do recording. So... We, we actually need like, yeah, all so, of our dice Yeah, so last, so last time what we did was... Um, we drafted the decks. Now we have built them and we're going to play them. Mm -hmm. So it was the drafting was uh, super fun too. We got to explore a bunch of new cards. I'm going to get some dice. Uh, our, our dice tray is full. There's some uh, force tokens. I guess I should turn on the light. All right. So another thing that's happening um, in the Star Wars TCG world is we just started the first Star Wars TCG tournament um, for 2021. So uh, we just started pairings went out this week, and it's exciting because it is our the first of a era tournament. So what we've done with as the IDC is there are there's a ton of Star Wars uh, IDC sets uh, over forty plus you have the ten Woods of the Coast sets. It's too many cards in one pool to be able to build a deck from. A hundred percent. It's it's thousands of cards. Yeah. So what we have done uh, as the IDC is we basically have made formats divided by era. So we took all the cards from the old republic era, from the from Knights of the Old Republic, you know, Kotor, Kotor 2, um Swotor, um all the all the cards that uh and then there was also cards like the Rule of 2, mm -hmm. which are from the old republic books and mm -hmm. stuff. Um if you've never read the Bane book, it's ridiculously awesome. Bane trilogy. Yeah, so um basically all that stuff and we said okay and we have no clue what the if there's best anything broken in we, there we, or what's we, going we on we don't know because no one's ever played with just that combination of cards so True. um everyone is going in blind with basically home brews and Sounds they're like yeah it's so it's, it's it's a discovery and uh we have done this now for a bunch of different eras so in i'm gonna be posting up on um I'll post it up on home base games. I'll post it up on all our socials. I'll also post it up in the Star Wars TCG group or the Discord. The calendar of um, Star Wars TCG events for 2021. So, because you can look forward to more era formats. We're going to obviously do... And actually, it's kind of odd. I don't know if you know this, but Star Wars actually released like a timeline where they officially labeled all the eras. Really? Yeah, so like they labeled like the the era of um like the Galactic Civil War, like okay. like all the different eras from from which the movies take place essentially. Sure. They actually like named them all. all right. And I saved the graphic, so I figured it would be a fun thing um, just to 
use those era names yeah, for absolutely. our sets. So I'm sure they're pretty intuitive. Yeah, and the IDC site is actually conveniently already broken down by era on the sets. So um, you could basically just look at an era and be like, all right, well, those are the sets that we're going to be using. Nice. So, all right. So, chance cube time. Mm -hmm. Call it blue. Blue. It's blue. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll play first, I guess. Uh, it's not a play first thing. It's Big dark side. Sorry. Bid for light or dark. Oh, we're bidding. That's how it works in a oh, match. Oh, I thought we were rolling for at what? For the whole match. For the game. Uh, okay, we could do that. Like if you win, you get to choose. Okay, but we should bid on the third game. All right, if it gets there. Yeah, if it gets there. <laughs> so we each play. You'll play the dark once. I'll play the light once. And then, then you'll play and dark. And then we'll bid. Well, that, that meant me playing Dark twice, but okay. <laughs> or whatever. Whatever, whatever. We're each going to play a side once, and then we're yeah, going to bid. Yeah, that's fine. Patronus, I don't think, is a fan of bidding. I'm not. Especially when I have absolutely no idea what's in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. All right, so you're going to be Dark Side. Yes. Which, this is actually right. Look at that. I actually grabbed the one that puts me on Dark Side. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um. Oh, this is where the mulligan rules matter. It is. Oh, you're uh, dark side, so you mulligan first. I do. I'm assuming we're doing our normal mulligan rules, where these are shuffled back in. That's the only mulligan rule that exists now. All right. So shuffling. Two so yeah, set two, set two cards aside, draw two, and then shuffle those back in. I'm gonna set aside a uh, foil. I'm going to set aside Occupied Coruscant and Lightsaber Throw. Those are some of my favorite cards. Draw three new ones. Okay. Let's shuffle these. What I was putting back is Luke's Warning. Oh, by the way, we should talk about, um, briefly, we'll just, while we we're uh, getting set up, let's talk about decks. So, if you notice, our decks look a little bit smaller. Uh, in Draft... What we use uh, when we draft is we use 40 card decks, similar to like Magic the Gathering. The decks are comprised of a different rule set. So normally when you build a deck in Star Wars CG, it's 60 cards and you have to have 12 of each unit. So that's a 60% a ratio of units to non-unit cards in your deck. With a 40 card deck, if you just do the math, Eight of each unit is actually the same ratio, 60% of the deck. So we each each deck, to be legal in draft, we use eight of each unit uh, eight, in each arena. So eight space, eight ground, eight character. That you have to have 24 units in your deck, eight of each arena. And then the rest of your deck um, can be whatever. It can be more than 40 cards. The minimum is 40. Correct. So we're both running 40 card decks. All right, dark side. Hmm. What? I like my hand. I got some good cards. Throw down. So we want Starfighter. Nice. Okay. That costs four. Okay. I'm going to put five on Jabba Sail Barge. But... Seven on Mace. Oh, Mace B? Or C? I uh, think it's B. I think it's B. Yeah. Okay. Mace B. It almost looks like a old school constructed deck you got going on there. Right now it does. Yeah. It's funny. Um, okay. 
what do I want to do? So you've got 11. I have 5. Um... Mace will beat up both of my characters in my hand at the moment. So maybe I want to play some cheaper stuff and try to get some characters. Oh, okay, let's do this. This is a new card. Well, not new, but IDC card. Forced ATST. And can actually attack characters. Oh, nice. Yeah, so... So that's going to cost me four. And I'm going to draw. And I need to keep going. So, let's play the Ebon Hawk. Nice. Yeah, so one here, two here, and one more. I'm a huge uh, Kotor fan. And Ebon Hawk fan. Okay. You're up. Hmm. Let's drop three. Okay. All right, so you got me by one point now. All right. I think it's time to show up with my IDC version of the Falcon. So that thing cost eight, right? And yep. six, seven, eight. It's an expensive one. What does it do? Um, critical hit one, shields one, pay two, evade two. Oh, okay, so just good stats. Draw. Yep. Think space squadron. Nice. Another IDC card. Okay. I am going to play Chewbacca. All right. So cost seven. So three here. Four here. I'm gonna draw. So this Chewbacca can pilot my walker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I approve this message. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um. All right. I think I can do this. Can I stack a ground mace up the character base? Yep. Two. You absolutely can. Back for one. That's pretty cool, huh? I should probably put this on camera. So yeah, something that the IDC did was they started putting um, unique units um, where it made sense in different arenas. So if you ever saw the uh, the Dendi uh, Clone Wars, that is Mace from Dantooine, and he basically single-handedly destroys a clone army. No, uh, separatist. Oh, separati army. Uh, I'm sorry, a separatist army. So it takes perfect sense that he would be in the ground arena. Correct. Yeah. And that's the scene too. Yeah, that's the yeah. That's the artwork from that. So yes. yeah, so you could stack them and if you flip them you obviously gotta put them in the other arena. Correct. Yes. That makes sense. Do, 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 do. Yes. Um, remind me the gold cards that can go in multiple. Are we playing by the wherever you them as we're stay, or can they? They can move. We're not house ruling on stream. 
Well, I wasn't sure if they changed the rule. I know we were talking about that. With uh, they have not come out with a new rule book yet. Okay. So we're, we're just playing with the actual rules. I just remember like they're, back in November we were talking about it. The IDC is talking about how they're going to handle the those cards. Okay. So. Got it. And you switch during your build step? Yeah, yeah. They're kind of like a, the same rules as like a pilot. You could just move arena once. Vornsker. Okay. Yep. Good. All right, I have two build points left. I'm just going to play Patronus's. One of Patronus's favorite oh, cards. Oh, yeah. Runner. Yeah. He's good. All right. But I only have two, so going in the build. And draw. Have I ever told you what a good job you did on making this mat? Well, pretty great. Five. Yes. Oh, I guess I wasn't paying attention. You guess you still had to keep building, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. It's kind of Yes, but just put all of it. Skywalker. Okay. Cool. All right. So on the light side, so I'm rolling three, three build. So we get the bonus. Four piece. Um, you each get four force, and then you draw. Dark side goes first. Uh huh. Okay. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to draw. Hmm. You're going uh, to... sorry. Ah, Go ahead. Fair enough. <laughs> um, okay. I am going to then draw with this guy. I have to discard a card, which we will I think we're going to get rid of Vader. He's just, uh, this Vader is just no match for an eight dice mace. Plus a born screw that gets better when he's yeah, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, uh, we're obviously going to pilot Chewbacca onto the walker. Fun stuff. Yep. And then four more build. Um. Well, let's do this. I've never used the Ebonhawk before. Pay X build points and discard a card. Search your deck for a space equipment card with a printing cost of X or less and attach it to the Ebon Hawk. Do you have a space equipment? I do. Cool. So I would have to discard a card. And what would I want to discard? Let's discard this copy of foil. And we're going to pay a build point. Does your equipment only cost one build? Yes. I believe so. Or you can pay. It's one.
All right, transport modifications. Transport gets plus one power, plus one health. Builds one. Yep. So I'm upgrading my Evan Hawk. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. And um, and I get to attach it. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. I like that. Okay. It's quite good. Yeah, so that was a build point. And then I think I'm going to spend one more build point to play Watto Shop in the character arena. And I'm going to discard a Java Sandcrawler for a build point. And then I'm going to put those little points on my armored free runner. Ready. And I am done. So, retreat starting with the dark side. No retreats. Yep. And no retreats with the light side. So, we're just going to battle. Battle it up. Um, And you're the dark side, so yeah. you have 160 speed unit. Yep. So, we... Well, uh, when battle stuff starts, I have to choose to either get accuracy one or shields one. Okay. Mm. Um, I'll go with accuracy. Okay. So the sixty-first. Okay. Two dice at. So. They both have shields. They both have shields. One now. die. Yeah, one die. That's sad. So I guess we'll go at the one. Harder. So this one has pay two of A two. Uh, this one they have the same. This one doesn't have any evasion, but they have the same. He same has five power, dice. but that one has critical. Yeah, so I guess we'll. That's up to you. Better chance of dealing. Yep. Which you got a damage. Hey. Oh yeah, where's their damage tokens? They're over oh, there. Oh yeah. You can tell it's been a while. Yeah. All right, so damage on my uh, Evan Hawk. Revan is not so happy about that. All right, and then I'm going twice. So I think we just need to try to. Oh, but you have intercept. I'll make you use the force. Um, we'll roll five dice at Obi Wan start. No, because then if you intercept, he heals. I'm gonna roll. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll here. Rolling here. I think so. Yep. Okay. Alright, five dice. One damage. Well, this one's cocked. Two damage. You any battle cards? Nope. Okay. And then... Falcon... Do I go at Obi Wan Starfighter, risk not killing it? Hate that card. I'm gonna go at the B Wing Squadron. Five dice. Whoa! Five. Really? Yeah, I rolled a critical hit. You suck. Sorry. Dice rolls. Okay. Go, Obs. Yeah, that was unlucky. Two dice. All right, at the Evan Hawk. Mm -hmm. Oh, four. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Return the, the favor, I guess. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what happens in sealed. Sometimes, just you don't have a lot of cards, damage prevention. Yeah. All right. Tap tap. Untap. No, no, no. Remember, I could attack characters. This unit may attack a, a unit in the character arena oh. instead. It gets critical hit one as long as it's attacking a character. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to attack. Well, I guess I'll attack the Vonsker. And I have um, two dice. Accuracy one and critical hit one. Two. And that's it. Alright, so force. 
roll for build. What? Uh, Do you have hidden cost? Yep. Oh, okay. Round. Oh, okay, so you would have went before we went to character. But it's fine, I wasn't going to... No, but you still attack something. Oh, yes. Um. So three dice, accuracy one. Okay. So this thing actually has pay to retaliate four. Oh, well from, that seems From uh, horrible. Chewbacca, Chewbacca, Walker gets plus ten speed, accuracy one, and pay to retaliate four. Right, well we're not going to do that. Okay. I don't want to just die. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, so uh, rolling three dice. Three dice, accuracy. And you get two. Alright, two on the sail birch. Now we end it. There you go. And roll for build. Yep. Three. So I only get three, but you get four. And you're up. Yep. Draw. Mm -hmm. Sad my Emin Hawk's dead. Uh, sad that my two ships are <laughs> well, it was one of those scenarios where speed mattered. Yeah. Right. Having two sixty speed units with ten power total, you know, it's a good chance I kill something. Yeah. Might as well like flip Mace and bring Mason and you just wipe me out of ground. And then you could bring in Cade to hold character. I don't even have a character. You know I'm not building one. Because uh... I mean, Mace, this and this, he might be able to fight me in ground. Yeah. Instead of just letting me plink at you. Yeah. What does Cade's ability do? Um, Pay two fours and put two corruption counters. Or damage to other characters. But he's just has useless stats. Yeah. Um so that would cost me one. One, yep. Two left. Mm. Uh, I guess. I mean try it out. Yep. Let's uh we'll let's put Mace. let's see Mace in the ground arena. Get him over here. Yeah. Two more on King. Mm -hmm. And then last one. Okay. My turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm obviously spending one build point for this armored free runner. And then what am I doing? Hmm. If I'll need the three dice from the sail barge, my walker might get wrecked. Fifty speed. Time to decide if I want to move my Chewbacca off because I don't want it to die. Get it. He's a uh, forty. Huh? He's actually. He has plus one power. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're gonna win tie there. Um Although I'm fifty with Chewbacca, so oh. But he only rolls two dice. Yeah, retaliate four is useful. Okay, let's I'll leave him. What am I doing with my last two build points, though? Mm. 
All right, we're going to put two build points here. And I have, uh, do you have any retreats? No. Okay. So we're going to go to space because I have no retreats. Nope. Oh. Okay. All right, five dice with the falcon. Two damage. That's horrible. That's yeah, exactly perfect. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and then you're rolling back with three. Or yeah. two. Because I have shields. Yeah, shield. Four. Oh. Alright. I'll evade two. Oh, we want to just wreck me. Yeah, evidently. You rolled very hot with Okay. Okay, so 60. Yes. He's just 6 power. Okay. So let's roll at runner. That makes sense. Alright. Oh, 5. Yeah, 5 out of 6. That's not good. Okay, sir. Hot red. Yeah. Bloody match. I didn't want to use this, but I think I have to. I'm going to use Jedi Knight's Survival. Um. Disrupting strike. Oh, brutal blowout. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to kill this. Okay. Youch. All right. And then I have my little 50 speed uh, walker here. And we're just going to roll yep. two dice at the Vonsker. Yep. Try to kill it. We got two. All right. Then three at... One. There was the best evening out. Eh, one for three is not bad. Well, I had accuracy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> forgot about that part. So Alright, we're going to roll at the accuracy unit. One. Alright. Yep. Tap. Yep. Force. Roll for build. Three. Okay. Let's do eight. Okay. Stealth fighter. Mm hmm And one. We're right one shop. Okay. Build substars as long as you have. Jedi, draw a card, draw an extra card, and put. Nice. Okay. Draw. What did I roll for build? Three. Three. Yeah, All, right. All right. Three build. Hmm. Let's draw two.
no way to kill Mace. So... I guess pay to evade too. Not looking good for our heroes. And we got stealth to deal with. You know, all kinds of problems. And you have more force than me? Oh, roll when this. Oh, okay. It's just stealth. Okay. Yeah, it's just stealth. stealth and it's dice are rolled. Mm hmm. Don't know what to do. Guess we just put three build here. And then do I want to keep this Chewbacca in play is the question. A2 retaliate for is pretty good. I think I'm going to move him over. Yeah. And I'll be done. Alright. No retreats. Okay. I will... It's a good chance that I'm just going to get wiped out and ground. So I'm going to retreat here. Okay. And space. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to roll it over once and try yep. to get rid of that thing. Target. Ugh, one. One. What we want to do and work. Three. Yep. One. One. Oh, it should be rolling two dice. Yes, it is. Two. Okay. Well, I'll evade. And uh, two dice with this guy as well, but you have to roll this secretly. Here. Right. So choose to use your evade. I'm not going to evade. <laughs> Two. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's dead. Yep. Okay. Six dice. Yep. Two. Two. Three dice, accuracy. All right, and that's game. It's a quick one. It only went two turns. All right. All right, so I'll be dark side this time. weird uh like just playing uh star wars and just having like plain black sleeves i know so strange it was fun seeing chewie piloted to a dark side imperial walker yeah that was really cool right it's one of the fun things you can do in a format like this 
Yeah, well, I think you can have Chewie pilot another walker. I think there's a light side walker. Oh, I'm sure there's, like, Republic walkers. Yeah. Like but yeah, it was cool to see him pilot like in the a actual imp Imperial forest walker. Forest walker. Yeah, it was that awesome. Was super cool. Yeah. And just, no I'm match for Mace. Mace came in the ground and wrecked just like on the show. Yep. That five damage hit on my Rebo free run. That was crazy. that was brutal. It's crazy. It was bloody early on for sure. You were. The worst part was getting uh, disrupting striked. Seems relevant. Yeah, that was bad. Very relevant. But disrupt is a thing. Okay, so I'm dark side first, so I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna mulligan mull strategy. Um, Jedi piloting and Jedi Knight survival. Draw three and the shuffle these back in. I am. Fly casual. Okay. Um, let's do Let's do an Abu spaceport. And draw a card. And well, it's got Iron Cannon 4. Big fan of that part. Alright. Well. Let's. This. Okay. Um, and go with an upper squad. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm going to play a stormtrooper extraction team for six. This says stealth and accuracy. Let's put that terrible card. Okay. Um. I'm gonna get all the big boys out. Mall. So make that a six and add a six. Malik. 
Awesome. That okay. was the ooh. Mm. I'm gonna turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Didn't consider. Yeah. Alrighty. I will. Let's do five on a Jedi Guardian. So, Tor. Yeah. Draw. So I'm going to do my last six. Also, it also has stealth. Okay. But I'm the dark side, so I'm going to go first, which means I can't attack. So it means, okay, that's annoying. Yep. <laughs> All right. Relevant. Well, All right, I'm up. I'm going to put one on an armor, rebel armored free runner. And then roll for build. Yep. Roll away. Two. I'm actually short a card. Alright, so I have seven now. Draw for turn. Draw for turn. Okay. Force. Uh, yeah, build is just going here. And, yeah, that's all she wrote. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One on red three. Okay. Trees? Uh, none. Um. I'm good. Okay. So, uh, ground. Okay, so space taps. Yep. Ground. S uh, 50 60. and 60. Okay. So, three power. Yep. Target. Yep. Does Obi Wan Starfighter count as Obi Wan? I know it does. <laughs> no, because it says Obi Wan Kenobi. I know. Not just Obi Wan Starfighter. I know. I was kidding. But... Uh, you got one hit. One hit. Okay. Okay. Nice. Five dice. Mm-hmm. He's not gonna get it. Mm-hmm. Go in here? Yep. That's my only target. Three. Okay. 
All right, you're up. All right. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A3, A2. Armor. So I have five dice, and I just got to decide what to do with it. But they have a, I have accuracy. That's relevant. Hmm. I'm going to roll here. I got two hits. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. And you get to go. And four dice. Um, yeah. Oh, we can. Mm hmm. I think I have to. I'm going to play a card. Okay. I'm going to play Lost in the Crowd, which okay. is spend three force. To disrupt an attack. Oh, all right. Yeah. And then I'm going to go with my spaceport and roll seven. And I got to roll it this stupid thing, I think. Because I don't have a chance of killing it without my spaceport. So I gotta at least damage it, otherwise I'm screwed. So I gotta at least hit I it. I had the same thought with your stealth thing. Yeah. So stealth is interesting. Ooh, oh. five. All right. Bang. Well. Okay. But as long as I hit it, um, I'm okay, because no more stealthy. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the whole point of stealth. It's like, as long as the unit's tapped or damaged, it doesn't have stealth. So you just gotta hit it once. All right. That's where homing missiles amazing because you just ping. Yeah. Okay. Mallet. Well, he has an ability, I think, to get a bunch of speed, but I don't think it can get to seventy. It can't. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Maul. And I think I'm just going to roll all the dice. So, rolling six and plusing five. Oh. It's Molly. Alright. And he's got six? Seven. Seven hits. Alright. Uh, well, we have to A2 to A2. Okay. And take five. Yeah. Health left. Alright. And I can't pump him now because I'm right. So I'm gonna go first. Yeah. Maybe kill him. You might. All right. Roll four. You only have to do one damage. Yep. I have one force. So I can't have it again. Yep. Got him. Three. Sad Malik. Ah, you're still winning. Okay. All right. Uh, force. So I was at one, I gained four, go to five, roll for build. Three. And I'm gonna draw. <coughs> and three points on my free runner. And I ain't got nothing else. All right. Hey, someone's in chat. Oh, it's TGP. Hey, buddy. 
Hey, uh, congrats on your win. He won his match uh, first round. Tonrado's in here. Welcome. How did how did your match go, Tonrado? Uh, it is. I've won the first match. This is for in turn like three. Yeah, we're. This is a uh, yeah. So this is a uh, game two. Um, she pretty much crushed me. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, she, we're, first game. we're first game two. She crushed me game one pretty hard. I think it only went two turns, uh, maybe three. But actually, that Obi Wan Starfighter, it worked. It just yeah rolled crits almost every turn, and then I never dealt it more than two damage at a time, yep. so I could not kill it. It was pretty, it was pretty wreck. That was pretty hilarious. Yeah, but I got to do some cool things. Um, I got to pilot Chewbacca Walker pilot on the um one of the forest atsts that can it was an idc card that can attack characters which was super cool yes. and i modified okay that's good yeah all right no retreats yeah good. obviously yeah yeah, yeah. 60 yeah uh can't do anything about that Yep. So three dice. Three dice. Roll well, please. Two. Well. Two's pretty good. Okay. Alright. Sixty. Mm hmm. Four dice. Yep. Same target. Two. I do have a Jedi piloting. Oh man. One force. That was my shot. All right. So we are going to exhaust. And we're going to deal um, two one damage here, and then we're going to deal two where. Uh, you know what? What? You gotta disrupt. I have a response. Okay. I just so I gotta deal my damage first, and then you respond. Well, but no, before it taps. Like at like before we do like in that speed check phase. Okay, so before I go, you're yeah, gonna do something. Yeah, before you go with that. Guy. Okay. I'll try to. Oh, you got a down in flames. That is horrible. <laughs> oh man, talk about getting wrecked. Yeah. Wow. And I was I, gonna try not to spend all the force, but and I, was... I wasted a battle card to keep it alive. Well, I wasted Oof. an attack on. Okay, yeah. All right, well. Yeah, uh, Mace is up. Yep, five. Yeah, Mace is reckoning ground again. Two. Okay. And I'm going to roll five dice at the stealth unit. Yep. What I can do about that? And I got four. Five. No, four. Four. I have accuracy, so four. Alright. And then... Now my stealth unit is slower than everything else, so that's good. So what do I do now? That's the question. I guess it's still work on ground units. So seven. I'll roll seven at the unmodified some computer. Okay. <laughs> One. Ready. Yeah. Ground taps. Yeah. Yep. Ready. Up. Roll for build. Five. And gain four. So let's go up to eight. And draw. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I told, I did explode. Yeah, yep, good call. Totally forgot about that. And I wouldn't have evaded the damage. Oh, not uh, when I had no character. Yep. Yeah. Nope. You are correct. Um. Okay. I think I'm just putting five there. Or, no, I'm going to put five here. Five on Yoda. So this is the Yoda that can um, disrupt a battle card unless your opponent pays three force. Okay. Two force. All right. Good? Yep. All right. Doing two on... Osis system. Uh, yeah, TGP. Actually, all of these cards are printed out. They're not the real cards. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. Uh, and some of them are really bad. Yeah, because <laughs> of the um, because the whole cube, we don't want to mix like real cards with printed cards because then it might be obvious when you're drafting. So um, even though I own all the Wizards of the Coast cards, all the cards were printed. Um, unfortunately, it was they also were... just easier for us to be able to keep the holocron together. Yeah, yeah. Everything was just printed out. Yeah, so um, we're we we are. I am almost done with uh my. I change the holocron every year. Um, I kind of update it. You know, new IDC cards and stuff. So I'm actually almost done with um, building the new one for this year. Cool. And I will post the list. Um, the pool. Yeah. In the discard Discord, so you guys can check it out. And um, yeah, so yeah, we'll reprint because some of these are. Really I'm gonna bad. reprint everything. Andrew is a new. The job that Andrew has now has a much better printer. So, um, although you know, what, it's not terrible, but it's not. But you can tell that they're certain ones are pretty bad, yeah. like this one. Yeah. All right, I'm done. I put two, two there, three here. Yep. Uh, yeah. No. Um. Yes. Spaceport is out. Because I have stealth. I know. Oh, did you pay your upkeep? No. I did not. Okay. Um, all right. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm trading. So. Okay. So, oh, yes. tap. Mm. Tap all of them. Um, what does this do? I forgot to use it. I was thinking I couldn't use it. I can tap Jedi. Each of your Jedi get yeah yeah so yeah if if you if yeah you could tap because if they're not if he's not going to attack anything you could well tap but him. I didn't know you were going to retreat it's more for Obi Wan uh, not attacking anything but it's fine I missed it I was thinking I couldn't do it turn no yeah just do it you could tap because you know there's nothing here tap draw a card oh, that's cool each of your Jedi get yeah just Jedi so yeah and I wouldn't have known that you were going to retreat. Sure. For him, it's worth. All right, and then yeah, my stuff all taps because I can't see you. Yep, stealthy, stealthy stormtroopers. I love stealth. It's probably one of the best mechanics the IDC has ever designed, especially the fixed version of it. The original version was busted. Oh. Okay. Fair. Oh, I was attacking this. What this? Okay. Yeah. Four. Alright. Uh and that's and that's why stealth is so awesome because yeah, it's awesome, but you just hit in cost and now you're gonna nerf myself. Jerk store. Well in all fairness it's also a forty, so it would have been able to swing at you anyway. That's why it's a good unit. Five. Uh three. With accuracy. Yep. All you gotta do is hit for one and there's three. There's three. Bang. Alright. Okay. That was my only chance was to Yep, be tricky with the stealth. Be for tricky sure. with the stealth. Alright. And then nothing. I need another slow ground unit. Which I got. Yep. Or anything hitting cost. Alright, so roll for build. This might be a quick match. Five. And you're saying that, but we're on turn like five or six. I mean it's not going to three games. Well, that's that's fair. <laughs> Alright. So that's draw. probably likely. Oh, <laughs> There it is. Um, does this help me in any way? And I guess it sort of helps me. I don't know how much. 
So we push that guy in. Yep. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play the uh, Scooby Squad. Oh, sure. Yeah. You see Scrappy Jedi in there? There's a Jedi. Oh, he's not in this picture. So that one of the Jedi from um from this from this uh scene in the in the Clone Wars, uh -huh. he literally looks like the is it's Scrappy, right? Uh, That's the little one, the, the puppy. Not not the puppy. I'm sorry. Scooby uh, is the, who, the actual who's dog. who's the guy that hangs out with the dog? Shaggy. Shaggy. I'm sorry. Shaggy. <laughs> so I'm saying Scrappy. Shaggy. Scooby, Scrappy, and Shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy. Shaggy. There's a guy that looks just like Shaggy, but he's a Jedi. Uh, it looks exactly like him. That's funny. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. All right. Battle um, continues. Yeah, that's my five. All and right. Well, you got five to build. I know. Staying. Like, battle continues. Yeah, barely. Done? Yeah. Tap Obi Wan to draw discard. Shaggy, <laughs> they're yeah. correct. I couldn't remember. I obviously have not watched Scooby Doo in a long time. <laughs> I think I forgot to gain force. So I should be at twelve. Not like it matters. Already. Boy, yeah. Retreats? Negative. Um, I am going to play Price of Ignorance. Okay. K two force, choose one of your opponent's units with one health remaining. Discard that unit. Okay. Okay. Um I mean I'll spend I'll disrupt it unless you pay two more force. So this is dead. Price of ignorance. Nasty. Okay. Sixty? Yeah. Yeah. Three dice. One. Okay. And then fifty. Uh, let's roll at the Rebel Scout. Got it. Three! Luke's warning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Prevent one to a space or ground unit. The blowouts continue. Okay. All right. Five dice. Um. Okay. What is Town Rado saying? Uh, Patronus technically can't use that location to affect during build zone. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Really? So yeah, you so you can't do it during build. It's it's um, I, I got a good catch. I didn't even catch that. Um, it just has a tap ability. Yeah. If the tap if a card has a, a, a the tap ability, uh -huh. it has to say use during your build step to do it at that point. Otherwise, you oh, do it really? during battle. Oh well, it's been irrelevant, and I actually did it during battle last turn anyway. Mistake. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. that's a good catch. No, okay. Well, well, yeah, fair enough. All right, so you're rolling five here. Yes. And you got two. Got two, which is just enough. Just enough to defeat it. I didn't realize that tapping could only happen during uh, yeah, an attack, if, unless it's specifically yeah, during it, your if, build step. It will say on the card, um, play only during your build step. Otherwise, okay. a tap ability uh, is used during the battle phase. All right, cool. Did not know that. Learned something new. All right. Three. Um, nice. three dice, yeah. Accuracy. Yep. Two. I have force. I'll spend. Yeah, I'll spend it all. So I'll spend. I'll pay one, deflect one, killing him, and I'll pay two, evade one. I'm spending three. Okay. 
And then roll for build. Yep. I'll roll the one. You roll the one. Not helpful. Okay. All right, draw. Um. Yeah. Nope. One. Oh, no. So crazy. Jetta Battle Squad, you better really do some work. All right. All right, so. You can just draw a card. this card? Yeah. Okay. And tap that. Yeah. All right, and then go. Oh, wait, I'm 50. Yeah, you're, you're first. Oh, boy. Kills my 60. Yeah, so let's uh, let's roll at mm, four. It's gonna be so hard to kill. Let's roll at the Jedi heroes. I got two. You're up. Five. Yep. Three. I'm gonna spend three. I'm gonna spend um. Deflect one here. Yeah, two force to deflect one. So one, two. Let's kill that thing. Yep. And then I'm gonna spend one force to evade one. And I'll take one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Success. Three. So I'll spend two to deflect one. One, two. Stuff going back there. And then I'll evade one. So I am preventing two, taking two. So there's one health left. Okay. All right. Yep. All right, rolling for build. Six. Six. <clears throat> So draw. Oh, how I wish I would have played differently. All right, so let's put three on my walker and three here. I gained four force, so I'll be at eleven, and I'm done. I don't like to hear that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I just drew it. Maybe you'll miss. I might. There's a chance. <laughs> uh, so that cost me. Homing missile. And... I have no retreats. Ditto. Okay. Uh, this happens first. Oh, oh, well, actually, you could do it whenever, I guess. Oh, uh, no, this is at the start of battle. When the battle phase starts. Okay. So, yeah, do this first. So, going at the walker. Yep. Don't you dare blow on it, you big jerk. <laughs> I blow after this. <laughs> Homing missiled. Oh, you're first, actually. Yeah. Uh, roll, roll for the Jedi heroes. Two. Two evade one. Yep. All right, and then five with mace. Yep. Uh, actually, let's roll with these. Okay, six. I mean, that's four. So, yeah. He did. All right. All right, that was a sweep. Clean sweep. I was, so I was, I had this. I was building six on. But, Ooh, nice. So last turn I had one build point. Right. 
but that had a seven and a four. Right. So I'm like, I'm gonna put one on the thing that only costs four. Right. A hundred percent. Because you don't know. And then I roll a six. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean, that was the smart thing. It'd be nice to have Did the foresight work out. of knowing what your build is gonna be the next turn. That's a beautiful card. Yeah, it is. All right. All right. Well, this was we fun. Go. Fun stuff. A little uh, draft match. Our plan is actually to try and come up in one of our other games that we played, the Harry Potter TCG, we did like a, a big bracket, yeah. essentially. We, we basically, decks. basically what we did was we made a 16 man tournament bracket and we had peep and we are having people from the community of that game submit a deck of choice. So we're going to ask all the people from the Star Wars TCG Discord Submit a deck you want to play in like a 16 man bracket tournament. And then we're going to play the decks each week. Single elimination, a match, best of three. And at the end, we'll determine a winner. And uh, yeah, we'll sort through it. We might just pick the 16 decks initially for this one, but we might also take some submissions. We just kind of decided today that that was what we I think we should just have them submit it. I think that's fine. Yeah, because we could we could for. always do other things in the meantime until it's until it's ready. But yeah, that's I fine. think it'd be fun to have. Um, so I think I'm going to do a poll and see what what era they want to do. We'll choose sure. one of the formats. Yeah. And then um, I'll post yeah, it up, and then we'll see what they want to do. Yeah, and for eras, we might even just do like an eight, sixteen. Man or no, I think I think well, we'll no, I don't know. We'll see. Um, someone's already asking any cards. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll sort through that, babe. <laughs> I mean, we we could always do it any cards too. I'm not making yeah. the decks. I could care less. Yeah, for sure. If they want to just go wild, just, yeah, but that's wild the, open. Wild. The any cards is pretty wild. Yeah. I don't know. That I'll, might be a little hard for I us think, to even I play. think what I'll do, I'm gonna go when as soon as we get off here, I'm gonna go on Facebook. I'm gonna create a poll, and then I'll share the poll um on the Discord, and we'll keep it open for yeah. the for the weekend. And, and we then, can maybe do like two eras worth, so it's a little a wider. Well, I'll do a, a poll like they can choose between like an era. Or just anything goes. Okay. And then and then we'll just pick whatever whatever the most popular thing is. Yeah. yeah. Sound good. So look for more details on that. We'll make a web page on homebasegames.com. Yeah. Submit decks. Yep. Um. So look for details on that on our. And it'll be the page. same kind of submission that you guys are used to for the regular tournament that you just signed up. Basically, just put your your name, and um. I think yeah. Tone Auto says any cards is a ton of cards. Yes, yes, it is. Any cards is <laughs> any cards is just crazy sauce. Yeah. Plus, I don't even know what kind of crazy broken combos. I don't think uh, anybody knows. There's not too many people that just play any cards. So I th I think era is just um a, a, the better way to go. But I'll put it up there if everyone's like, hey, we want to just go crazy sauce. Oh, yeah. Go go to town. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, I'm not building a deck, so I'm Good. not going through that stress. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by that many cards. I know. You were just overwhelmed by having to do the, uh, the IDC KOTOR sets. I was so overwhelmed because I was like, <laughs> I, there was it's, it wasn't even that there were so many cards. I think the pool is only like six, 800 cards. It's not even that many, but it's 600 new cards. Right. I didn't know any of them, so my deck is so bad. I'm like, oh, I want to play with Revan. I want to play with T3. M4. I just picked all my favorite characters and made as thematic oh, of a deck fine. as possible, and I'm going to get crushed. <laughs> but You might win a game here and there. When I play against everyone, I'll at least learn what cards are good. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's not like it's not like playing when the game first came out. Like with Attack of the Clones, there was one set. There was only so – it was so easy to build a deck because it was like – yeah. and then each – each well, couple you already months. had them in your head. So, right. like, each set of, like, 200 months, cards or whatever new, that was coming exactly, out, it was, it was more manageable because so you already did. Right, but, like, jumping into a pool of six to 800 cards where you right. don't know anything, and you're like, I don't even know all the abilities yet, right. all the IDC abilities. I know most of them, but I don't know all of them. So there's a handful that I have to kind of look up every now and then. But for the most part, I, I know most of them. Fair enough. But. All right, so, yeah, check out, uh, for, look for more information from that on uh, our homebase game. Until next week. Hasta luego, guys. Yep.